we are given a function f z, which is this one, and the coefficients a, b, c, d, they are also given to us as real numbers. When f z is matched to 0, there are two roots that are given 2 plus i and minus 3. And since the coefficient of f z are all positive number, we can actually deduce the third root. We know the third root exists because we are looking at the cubic polynomial z to the power of 3. So the third root will be 2 plus i, which means that it is going to be 2 minus i. By making use of the factor theorem, we, if 2 plus i is a root, that means z minus 2 plus i is going to be a factor. This tells me that z minus minus 3 is going to be a factor. And of course, this gives me a z minus 2 minus i. This is going to be a factor. Which means that for f z, I can also re-express it in terms of its factor. That will be z minus 2 plus i. And we also have a z minus this 2 minus i, the conjugate of the first root. And of course, this, which is going to be z minus minus 3, is going to be plus 3. So we have this. And since the coefficient of z to the power of 3 is a, and if I were to express fz as this, we have just 1 for the coefficient of z to the power of 3. z times z times z. So I'm going to add an a in front so that we will get a coefficient of z to the power of 3 as a also to synchronize to what we have here. Expanding this z minus 2 plus i multiply by z minus 2 minus i since these are conjugates of each other what we can try to do is to make use of the result that we have in our theory outline and that will be z square minus 2 times of this so 2 of z plus this square so 2 square plus the coefficient of this square which is 1 1 square so i have this multiply by z plus 3 so this is going to be a, this will be z squared multi minus 4z, then plus 5, multiply by z plus 3. Of course, if you don't know this result, it will be good if you do. If you don't know this result, just expand this as per normal. When you simplify, you will still be getting this anyway. So expanding this further, z squared multiply by this, we have z to the power of 3. This multiply by this, it is going to be plus 3z squared. And this multiply by this, minus 4z square. This and this, minus 12z. 5 and z, it is going to be plus 5z. And 5 and 3, it will be plus 15. Expanding this further, we will be getting a az to the power of 3, minus az square, minus 7az, and plus 15a. And our aim is to actually try to match coefficients. So matching the coefficient, we will be able to get the value for b. b, matching the coefficient of z square to z square, will be minus a. And for c, z matching to z, c is going to be equal to minus 7a. And of course for d, the term that is independent of z will be 15a.